welcome to my tutorial again um very exciting to be very excited to be back took a couple of days that we, i was working on some projects and maybe you saw them online um but this is something that a lot of people have been asking for uh this uh character the mandalorian is a very popular character and so we're gonna go ahead and try to tackle this now i will tell you today we're gonna be doing something different today we're going to be doing this character we're going to be drawing this character on toned paper and the reason we're going to use toned paper is because uh, uh, unfortunately the Mandalorian if I did just a line drawing it doesn't do it justice this is a serious character and he has to be painted in value it doesn't uh and by value I mean it has to be what people call shaded it doesn't look serious when it's just a line drawing so I'm going to go ahead and do an elevated uh, class here uh, but you'll be able to keep up same concepts, you, finding shapes to locate things, reference things. So let's get started. So again, I'm going to draw with my red pen. So I'm going to try to be light today. Uh, hopefully you all can see it. And then um, this will probably be a tutorial in three parts. Um, this, what we're doing today is working on the tone paper. That's already giving us this gray area right here. This gray area is already being given to us. So eventually what we're going to do is we're going to come in with a brown um let's see what they call this a sepia uh oil pen pencil so it's a pencil with a little bit of, of, of oil in it so it's a little bit softer and we have this charcoal white pencil and we're going to add the white and we're going to add some of the dark areas with this but the gray tone paper already gives us this middle tone so we're ahead of the game it takes a lot of the work up and uh, uh anybody can be a uh, a real professional with this tone paper it really does a lot of the work for us and you'll you'll see that's uh, that'll be in another tutorial but it'll be adding to this so let's go ahead and start this so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna start with um doing my you all know what i always do i always make an envelope where do i fit my character inside so let's go ahead and do that this is the top of my envelope now this is not where my character fits, but this is my measuring line because I want to be measuring here. I'm going to be measuring from the left here. So I want to create that line as well. Actually, we're going to be measuring off the center, so I'm not going to do that. We don't need that. Now I'm going to come straight up the middle, very light. I'm going to have to check to see if you can see that or not. Let me see if you can see that on the paper. You absolutely can. All right, so let's let's continue with that. That's about as dark as I want to get. So let's see. I, I'm going to go ahead and I can transfer the measurements over. This has to be a faster video because this is a complicated uh, piece. And uh, this is a complicated piece. And, uh, you know, I, I, I'm going to break it down again, the basics that we use. But I'm going to try to go a little faster and see if we can get it in less time. I'm having an issue uploading the big, long video, so. Let's see. So it looks like I've got one, two pencils from the top for this character. And then I'm going to go ahead and figure out how many heads tall this guy. Well, let's add, let's do something. Let's add a, a center line on him. Let's add a center line on him so that we can know. Let me make sure I'm, I'm right there. Okay, so that's my center line here on, on the mando. And let's see how many heads tall he is. And I'm measuring from the top of his head to just the end of his visor, not the end of his helmet, but the end of his visor. Now you all know that I put a reference at the beginning. You should start with that reference. Please start with that reference. That's how I do it. It's a lot easier, and that's usually how you'll do things. So let's see how many heads tall. It's probably six heads tall, I'm assuming. And things are lining up really well here. Like the bottom of this, uh, like, growing uh, protector is there. And absolutely, he is he's six heads tall. That's the average person. So we know that this is not an illustration. There's an actual person in here in this costume. I mean, you know that, but this just confirms. That's actual uh proportions works and let's see how wide is it well guess what it's almost his width is almost two heads sideways so the head is like this and i'm see how i have my measurement here 
and I actually see his two heads sideways. That works out real well. Now let's see, I see a circle here. I see a circle here, so I wanna, let's see if I wanna do a, I guess it would be around here if I did a circle. If I did a circle here to get this whole area here, I would like to do a, a circle and that way I'll know where things cross. I can do the circle and I can just find that as reference points. That'll work so, so if I, for him to stay, it looks like, let me see if I can get a measurement here, the width. So let's get the width of his head and come down it. So what is that gonna do? That's gonna give me another circle right here. So I've got a circle right here that's going to give me that shape. And let's see, let's see this circle. Let's see this circle. We're going to start right here. So we're going to come down from here, across the center. We're going to come down here, oh, right below the belt. That works out perfect. So what I did is I, I marked it, and right here, I'm actually going to, this is the center line. So I'm actually going to do a circle. Let me make sure I'm on the right. So we sort of have a circle right there, more or less. Please excuse my my circles thing. So I've got a circle there, and you know what? That gives me the ins and outs points for this. So that works out real well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I want to do the smaller circle here, which is my measurement is right here. I'm gonna bring it down and I'm gonna, this is how I get my, my center circle. I can actually just bend this, that's the fastest way to do it. I mark it in the center and that's how I know my center line. I can do that or I can guess, this is not that complicated. And then right there on that line, I'm gonna mark the two on the sides. And guess what, that's my, that's my circle. That's his head. And then, right at the bottom of his head, I'm gonna use the larger, remember this is the height of his head. So I'm gonna do that there. And I'm basically putting the points, I'm putting the points so that I can make this larger circle and then use it as a reference. So, you, I mean, if you got a compass, go ahead and use a compass. I, I, I don't like to use it because some people don't have a compass. And, uh, and uh, you know, someone might see this video for a brief second and say, you know what, that's that's very technical. It really isn't. I mean, it's it can be, but you don't need tools. You just need to have patience. You need to enjoy this and have patience and come up with this. This system works every time. Isn't that great in art? Sometimes things come out, you gotta step back, take a look if you like it. That's not the case here. This system works every time. So, I mean, what what works, What what's death and taxes, right? And this system. So let's see, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out the heads. I'm gonna figure out the line for his, for his feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and come down. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's my six. And now let's see. It looks like the width of his head, it, um, it looks like the width of his head Well, it's a little bit less than the width of his head. 
we're gonna use that width of his head. We're gonna go slightly on the inside of that. Slightly, okay? Just a little half a hair, half a pencil shy of that. Same thing, eh, maybe a little more than half a pencil. Let me see. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go like um, a full pencil. So I got the I got the width of his head, and I'm going like a like a full pencil shy of that. Okay. And again, that's I mean that's a that's my measurement. I'm sticking to it. I'm gonna put it in the bottom at the feet line as well. Okay, so the width of his head and I take away a pencil and that's what it is. And that's giving me more or less the envelope for his feet, for his legs. Now remember, I don't, I'm, I'm the artist that draws the negative space. I don't really try to draw things, I draw around them. And you know what, that, that makes things a lot easier for me. And and remember, we're not, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, you know, be in a museum right now. What I'm trying to do is just get along and enjoy my life as an artist and, and you should too. Don't take it too seriously. Uh, some artists will be cringing when they hear me say that, but that's the truth. The truth is um, art is a gift and we have to enjoy it every day. Not just, you know, you don't have to necessarily make a living from it. You just enjoy it. It makes life better. So let's see. We're going to go two vertical lines straight down and that's going to be the sides of the Mandel's head. Two, right from the center, two straight lines like this. It goes slightly inward, slightly inward. And then where it touches, where it touches the, the circle, it actually goes in at a slight angle. And it pinches in the middle, just in the middle, it pinches in like that. Okay, that's good for now. Let's see. I see that the shoulder comes out from slightly above the circle and it it comes around, does a, stri a severe angle and comes back down into the circle. I'm gonna do that right here. I'm gonna, it, it comes out, it, it turns slightly and it comes on the side. So I'm, I'm looking at this shape right here. Okay, that's what I'm looking at. And uh, th there, there's there's highlighted area here, but this is actually what it looks like. I'm gonna mark it for you. That's what it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, let's see that. This is the this is the waist right here. This is the waist. So let's um, let's make this space in here. Let's let's create this empty space in here. Let's do that. So it looks like right here where we where we decided the side was, which is right here, we're gonna go in a little bit, just a little bit, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna cut this line here. This is the space we're making. So I'm gonna cut across here. I'm gonna cut in, and that's a good that's a good drawing right there. That's a good that's a good spot there. See. And now I'm going to bring it out. I'm, I'm going to come out. Look at this right here. I'm going to come out a little bit. Notice the distance. Let's see. Let's do a center line here so we can figure out. So it looks like that almost cuts. That line is almost on that center line. So we know we can come out and check that out. That's almost there. And look up here, let's come down. Let's come out here. We come down, out. Look at that. Just drawing the negative space. We've already made this arm. People would have lost sleep over this arm. I would have lost sleep over this arm, but you do this, this approach of negative and it, and it works. Now let's do, let's not stop there. Let's do the bottom of this. Let's do the bottom of this. This is the part of the thumb. This is the other part, and it comes in. Look at that. We, we almost we got one side of the mandel almost done. So let's uh, let's do the same thing on the other side. 
let's uh, let's come out here. What I see here is I see this this shoulder, and I see it coming down. So I'm gonna come out at a slight angle. And notice it, it turns into the side. It doesn't pass the side. So I want to maybe just so I don't blow it, I'm going to put this at a slight angle here and I'm going to join it there, there like that. And let's see if there's, there is a negative space here. Let's go ahead and do that. This is our, let's see where our, where our line is. So that's great. Look, it's just slightly inside. It's just slightly inside. So let's do this. Let's do this shape right here. So we're going to come in. We're going to go up. And we're going to come down. And then it actually goes straight to his legs, to his pants legs. So we, this is part of his cape. And this is... And let's go ahead and finish this. Let's go ahead and finish this space right here. This actually goes down, which is the cape. That's this right here. And then we're gonna go a little farther in. And this is his, and notice it comes down and it bends. Let's do that right at the circle. And let's go ahead and finish the outside. Right where we're at, when we come down, it shoots out and it's about two pencils thick at the very end of that. So let's, let's do that. And let's see, so there's a pinch before we get to this line, this little pinch here where it's the clothes that switches to the armor. And that's just below the circle. So just below the circle here, let's just mark that for us to know. We're not gonna go in or anything. The line is goes like this. So this is him here. This line actually follows the body. And then it's got that, that piece of weaponry on the outside there. We're going to paint that in there like that. Okay. And this is uh, the shoulders right here. Let's just mark that there. We'll know where that's at. Same thing over here. Over here we've got um, the shoulder coming out. And it sort of comes in. Let's see. Um, yeah, it more or less comes in there. And it shoots straight up. This armor here is um, about two pencils from his head. So one pencil, two pencils. It comes down at an angle. And it sort of lines up with this. So, And then it curves. Like that. That's about, I mean, it's more or less like this, right? Um, that's good. So let's keep on going. We're coming down. Um, let, let's finish the arms. Let's, let's go ahead and finish that while we're at it. So about a pencil past this line is where his arm keeps on going. So about a pencil past it. And then it's a, it is a, 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 a horizontal line where this, we'll just run this down. This doesn't come quite all the way. So we'll do that like that. And then this is a, this really here is a, is a, this is a square. Actually, let's see. This is a square right here. So I'm gonna do a square. Like a rectangle, right? square rectangle. And then what they did is they, we're gonna cut this square. We're gonna cut it here. That's that angle right there. And then all we gotta really do is a triangle at the tip of this. Like that. And then, um, it's, uh, we're gonna cut the, the thumb short right there. We're gonna put it in, just a little line. We're gonna go one, two, and there we go, more or less. Hard angles, we're not drawing it, we're drawing hard angles. This one, let's see this one over here. This is, uh, I see, uh, 
I see a square here. So we're gonna do a square. And that square is about one, two, it's almost, three, almost uh, two and a half. Okay. So what do we do there? It's really, this is really just identifying the planes. And I'll tell you what I mean. We're gonna cut off this little corner right here off it. So we're gonna cut that corner off right there. I haven't drawn a finger, haven't drawn anything. Okay, haven't drawn a finger or anything. This actually gives us the shape of his fingers already. There's um, there's a square here on the side. Okay, there's a square there on the side there. And that's gonna be his thumb and that's really gonna, it's almost done already. There it is. It's already defined. And uh, we've got to make this line to, to really show the perspective of his hand. So we're going to put that piece of armor there like this, like this, and like this. So that, that's really it. We can do the lines if you like. We do one line like that. And then we do another line like that. And that's really the guy's hand. I mean, it's not really... Let's not get crazy here. Let's, let's finish this armor here. Let's go up top and bottom here. All right, let's keep on going to the legs. Let's, uh, let's keep on going to the legs. So I don't have the lines here coming straight down. Let's see that we define here. So here they are. Here's one line coming straight down and here's another line Oh, depending on the paper, huh? And then get from the Okay, so let's let's do we know we got some reference pieces here with the sides of the heads. We have those here too. So we don't gotta go in blind, let's see. Let's actually do this one. Let's do, and, and again, this winds up being sort of like a semi-grid pattern because we're doing the shapes inside the grid. So let's see this one. So this is about a pencil in, and I'm gonna shoot up. And let's see, we have the cape here. Let's do this, let's do this shape here. Okay. And uh, from right here, this is gonna shoot out to the inside of the thigh. So we're getting that there. Now let's go to the bottom one here. There's a, uh, Let's try to get that. So about two pencils down, we've got this shape. It's gonna come in just, and notice it's about a pencil from the edge. So it's not really that far in. We know this is the in, in this innermost point we're gonna go. So we're gonna, okay, so we're doing, And uh, we're doing this bottom piece here. And then this bottom, the foot, this foot is not quite on the floor, so it's a little bit uh, just above it. And it looks like that's almost dividing this piece in half, a little bit less, but we'll divide it just to give them weight in half. We go up, we go over. We go up, and that's that's that. Let's do this other side. Now, 
this is actually going straight down. We have to add these side pieces like a football player. So we're gonna come straight down. And then it pinches in here. Look at this, it, it actually goes in here. So we're gonna we're gonna come in there like that. And it looks like let's see, it looks like we might have blown this hand too far. It looks like this hand is a little bit too far. Hmm, this one is okay, but this one is too far. But that's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna live with that. I I, I mean I always tell you guys it's it doesn't have to be perfect. That that that's no problem. Let's uh that's not we can live with that. If we have to we can we can make it shorter, but that's okay. Um keep on coming down. We're gonna forget about this detail right here. We're gonna come out and come back in. And it's a little bit below this one, so where that happens. So this comes, it's got this little piece here, it's very slight. It comes down. Coming down, and this is a, this is really what's going on here, so. Actually, very narrow here. This is very. This is about two and a half pencils. So it, it, you you want to make it bigger in your head because you're thinking to yourself, "There's two legs there. There's definitely not enough space there, but there is, because one is in front of the other. So you got to get your head out from there, and you need to actually draw what you're seeing and not what you're imagining. And that's 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 it. Let's uh. Let's let's start drawing things in here. Let's do this piece here. Let's see. So we have to reconcile something here. Um, let's put this about a pencil below this. Let's put his belt on. We're just gonna put it, the belt is about a pencil, a little bit bigger than a pencil. And it sits on sideways. And it's funny because his, his firearm is here, his gun is here. It should be tilting that way, but maybe, I don't know, he's writing it on his hip so it doesn't fall. I mean, it has weight, even though he's an actor, it does have weight. So that's probably what's going on. We've got this um, this piece right here which it seems like a, I don't know what it is. And it comes outside of, it comes outside of, and, and then there's a repeat piece over here. And that sort of comes there. Um, let's see his, his growing areas right there. And he's actually got a piece of armor that's curved up here and it comes down. He's got another piece of armor down here, which is like, and this is where we're gonna be losing a lot of space. We're losing about a half a pencil that we, 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 we made the arms too long and we're trying to, you know, we, we can make it up. That's not so bad, it just, it can't be on the top there. So we'll, we'll, we'll make it up, that's not a big deal. It's gonna look like them. So we're putting this piece here. And it's, I mean, it's like a little triangle here. It's a, it looks almost like a, like a chiclet. Um, his boot is right here on the inside of that and we're gonna go circular on top because the boot has got some volume to it and that's about a pencil almost two pencils thick so we're gonna go around 
and we're going to come on the inside here. Now look what's happening. There's this shape on top of his foot and the heel is right there. So we're gonna put the heel in and then we're gonna, feel free to stop this. That's why I'm recording it. You can stop it at any time and you can give this a try. This is not an easy drawing, but I know people that like this character, they're gonna enjoy this very much. So I did that shape. There's like a space on top, which lets you know that that's his toe. It's very um, it's difficult to tell here on this high contrast image that I did. Let's put these bands, they circle. Don't make them straight, they circle. And they're like a bunch of little lines that are above his, they're like in the ankle area there. And then uh, the other foot, well he's got, he's got a couple of things going on there. He's got right up here at this little notch here, he's got, Right here, this little notch, he's got this shape, which is some sort of weapon that he uses. I haven't seen him use that yet, but it looks interesting. And I mean, it's very uncomfortable to have that on your foot. That's got to do some crazy stuff. So we did that, and now we're, forget about, I know it's got a stick coming out, it looks almost like a T-square, but we're going to forget about that. We're going to get this curvature here, where these rounds are, these projectiles. We're going to ignore those for a second. We're gonna just come around like this. And on the bottom, we're gonna come around like this. And then we're just gonna do a couple of lines. We're gonna do a couple of lines. This, this is close, this has a space. So we're gonna make that space in the middle there. And then we got the last one. And then they have like a have like a little piece of leather that's holding them in there. So let's just mark that just so that we know what that is. And I guess they have like a little circle on the top, but we, we really can't see that, so I'm not gonna. And you know what, what the heck, let's just indicate this very softly, these two little lines. And as far as the ankle here, the, the, the toe, you can see the bottom of his foot. He's, about, he's stepping, but these shoes are worn in, so they curve up in the front. And then this is the top of his toe here. And then this is some sort of wrinkle in the shoe. And he has like a like a band like this. We're gonna give that a little bit of a curve, just a little bit. And that's good, because that's gonna be reference later for when we're doing this. So now let's, um, let's do this piece of armor here. It comes down to like the center and then it comes up. Oh look, we, we missed this here. We missed this piece of, this foot, this leg is in front. So this is actually not touching that. It's just in front of it, it's overlapping it. So let's not miss that. That's important. It comes down here and then it has a couple of wrinkles back here. That's important to show that that's in front of that one. This gets lost behind that leg. And then up here is the side of the, of that armor and then it cuts at an angle and then it does another angle. And this armor has like a border to it. So let's indicate that just a little bit. And it has it down here too. And then it has like a line of something popping out 3D going up the top there like that, more or less. This one also has a border too. We're gonna indicate that later too. And then he's got like a zipper area here. We'll mark that a little bit, the zipper area. Technical difficulties, sorry about that. Let's continue. Uh, we're a little bit low, but that's okay. He's got his, um, he's got this uh, um, undershirt. Let's mark that right there. He's got like this undershirt and this goes all the way up. And then he's got this, um, right here at this point right here, he's got this piece it's like a vest it's like a bulletproof vest that thing is like a two it's like two it's more or less two um like two pencils up from the belt we're gonna try to reconcile some things that don't measure right there this is gonna turn in from this edge see how we're coming in 
it comes out a little bit and it comes back in. Now remember, under under his mask, more or less, we have like a, a, a we have an area where his cape is going. Let's put that in now. His cape is going there. And then um, it doesn't go quite all the other way. The cape actually swings around here, leaving space for his bandolier. So we're gonna put that bandolier, it's coming down to the center here. See here? And it's about one pencil thick. So we're gonna put that in there. And then it it pinches a little bit as it comes down. It gets a little thinner because it because it's getting sideways. So it pinches because of that. That's holding his belt up. And um, there's a couple of there's like some ammo that he's got in his chest there. Some other designs. We'll ignore that for right now. And right on that line there, more or less, we have a we're gonna do this shape right here. We're gonna do this shape right here now. And then there's a line right about there. And there's a shape here in the middle of his chest that is like an armor component there. Put that there. Okay. Uh, this comes out. This comes in a little bit. This right here comes in just a little bit. And then he's got all sorts of gear on his belt. He's got... Um, oh, we're missing the holster. The holster is just a long section here next to his leg and um, we're missing this component so this guy has a cube here he has a, a line right there then he has like two circles and I guess that's some sort of, that's, you can have something sticking out like that. That's got to do some good stuff. So. And again, this is not exact, but it's it's close, close enough. This has to be a little bit bigger, just a little bit. And then he's got like a, like a tube here. See right here? So it's really just two lines. He's got like some ammo. And again, that's, that's really... The detail on that is in small little dark spots. His belt buckle is right here. And all I did was I did a line, I painted this square, and then I did another line. Not too much. And then here he's got like a he's got like a little bag. That space is almost carved in there. It has a little bit of a shape like that, but we're gonna leave it like that. Same thing here, like that. So we got the cape. The cape is like this shape. It's coming up from the from here. And then from here. Not exact, I mean, we don't have to be exact. This is a couple little really interesting folds here. And then he's got another piece of cape coming down from here. And it sort of fills in this area here. It comes out from the side of his knee here. And it's got like a fold here and a, it's got a couple of folds. Kind of like a fold there. And again, we, we do that, the way we indicate that, how it's folding is with the light and darkness that we put in. He's got his, of course, the rifle. Somebody's going crazy there. Now the rifle, the rifle, we have to aim it. Okay, so we're going to make sure we get a pencil. And it's coming out of there. And it's coming out from behind his gun and it's coming out. 
up here in his shoulder. So we're gonna put that there and we're gonna, actually that's not the right angle, that's the right angle. And it's coming out here. So I've got, I've got it more or less. So it's about the thickness, a little bit less than a pencil. Right, and then it does a curve up. It's like a very, it's almost like a like a fishbone. It curves like this, but it's not. But it's not a U. It's a, it's like a half moon. It's a weird shape because it's a stock. It's a butt stock for some crazy rifle. Does some crazy stuff. I saw this show. It was crazy what it does. And then. Uh, comes down it's just so I'm just coming down straight I worry too much about the shape and then it looks like after about a thickness of a pencil it uh, it comes out and it makes this triangle maybe not as big as I did it there and then it's a fork and a fork Okay, so that, that's sort of the shape. We'll put the details on that later. The, the, the barrel's coming out of here too. The barrel of his gun. He has like a, can't really see it. I mean, we put the hand out too much. I'm not gonna fix it, but it has like a little flap there. Something like that. And then let's let's do the face. Everybody's like, well, we gotta do the face. We gotta do the face. So let's go ahead and do the face. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let me sharpen. I gotta sharpen my pencil to get this to do this area right here right now. Okay, so yeah, whenever you're gonna do fine detail, use a sharp pencil because you gotta press very little. This is this has gotten so thick because I've I'm pressing so hard. So let's see. Um, so I think we got everything there. These details we'll put them in later. Now let's see. So in the center of the head is this thing right here. So we're good. We got that right there. I'm going to... Now remember, he's looking down because if, if he was looking straight at you, you know, he's kind of looking like a Marine would look down when he's walking forward. You know, when they look down with the chin tucked in. So this has a little bit of a curve and everything does. So you have to uh, respect that to give him that gesture like he's looking down. Okay, so he's he's looking down. There we go. And then the same thing, his visor goes right under that. It's got some volume, that line. So the visor, just a very soft line. And then we're going to indicate a small line under that, but we're gonna thicken it in the center. I'll tell you what, I think it actually goes lower. I think the, the visor goes around here. Well, let's see, once we put the lines down, we'll, we'll really know. Because this, this right's higher. So I think, let's see. One, two, three. Two. Yeah, so, so definitely, um, let's go down. The, Pointing down, it actually closes. My son always points that out to me. He says, Dad, you messed that up. It's got to close. So this actually will ride a little bit lower. Then this is what happens here. This has two lines on the sides, two very thin lines there. And then these little notches that come down here, they will go up and they'll go up. And this little notch here goes the same way. And they go in. And then there's a there's a this comes in here and this comes in here and this comes out here. Same thing over here, this comes in here. This comes out here. And this sort of comes in here. So. And 
and then this has a line and this is actually a little bit narrower so let's I'm gonna go ahead and define that now with this uh, with this darker pencil because it's not exactly how how I'm supposed to have it there so I want to make sure I fix that so let's see I'm gonna make this narrower It bumps up because there's a, a bump up here. This goes around. There's a notch that comes out here and here. This actually comes in, and this comes in, and then That's the visor how it goes. And then these. Is, uh, So that's, um, you can go ahead and, and paint some of the detail, but I wouldn't do that. I'd leave that for the next time that we get together. If you can get this, if you can get this, uh, this shape, you'll be ahead. That, that will definitely allow us to continue. So this is a good, um, this is a good start for that. I'm going to go ahead and speed draw this in, in pencil, but, um, you know, just some basic stuff. I'm not gonna try to get too dark. I went, I actually went too dark on that, on that helmet. But go ahead and uh, and practice this, and uh, and I'll send a new tutorial on how to take this, develop this to another level.